guys and welcome to another video and uh, yeah basically today I will be showing you how to use reflectors. So reflector is this right here and uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to use it. So I have two devices here. I have my iPhone and my iPad and uh, I'm just going to show you how it works. So basically what you do is you know okay so I'm going to show you. Basically on your lock screen you just scroll up here you click on this you select the name of your computer and then you check mirroring so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the phone and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, if it'll let me scroll up my little control buttons okay here it is okay there's a teeny bit of lag by the way it's gonna warn you about that Okay, so here's how it works, you know. It's cool, it has this little blue bar at the top. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you know, it works perfectly fine. Uh, if you leave the phone unattended, um, let me see if it'll show you the cool little gravity thing. Will it not? Okay. If you leave it unattended, then the blue bar goes away, and it turns black. So, yeah. That, this is how you do it on iOS 7. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of scroll up here. Click on that. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on iOS 6. So I have my old iPad over here. And, uh, you know, it's kind of beat up. This broken screen. Uh, poor little iPad. It's basically what you do is uh, this. Um, if it'll load. Okay, here we go. It's not actually white, by the way. I just set it to that. You can uh, right-click. I'm using my touch screen right now because my mouse doesn't work. Uh, and then you can choose what you want it to look like. So I can make it look like a mini black. And then, yeah. So I'm going to change that back to white because I, I, like, I like the looks of these types of iPads. Um, so basically, uh, you know, it's iOS 6. Uh... It does kind of freeze a bit, only because iOS 6 is kind of an old iOS version. Uh, so yeah. Just note, this will happen. Lots of lag. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, kind of cool. I like it. Uh, so yeah, the, the way that you turn it on is that you use all four of your fingers to scroll up. Scroll to the right, you click on the AirPlay button, and then you select the name of your computer and turn on mirroring. And, uh, yeah, it turns it on. So, um, go ahead and turn that off. So, uh, yeah. That's how that works. Uh, and, uh, by the way, um, you know, this is kind of cool. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I just unlocked the phone for a second. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, because I have a passcode. Um, you know, you can watch like YouTube and stuff on it. Uh, you know, it's really, really cool. It's really cool. Uh, you know, you got your stuff over here. Scroll to the right at your YouTube channel. You know. So uh, yeah scroll through there go back to what to watch scroll out and uh... yeah it's really really cool i like it um, you can place the minecraft pocket edition and then it'll even rotate sideways i forgot to mention that it'll rotate sideways and uh... you, you can do this whoop, and it'll turn back around so yeah that's pretty cool um, you know, this is just iOS 7. Uh, you know, we got... You can open up, like, swing copters or something. And uh, you will hear the noise, by the way. That plays in the background, so... Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If you put in, like, your headphones on the computer, all the sound is deactivated on your device and it goes over to the computer. So pretty much you can press a button on, like you can play sound on your phone and you can hear it through the computer. Uh, 
Sonst nicht. Ey. Okay, I can't hear it right now, but I it, it worked earlier. So uh yeah. I, I just think this program is really, really cool if you don't have a screen recorder for iOS 7. Boop. And uh so yeah. Also the clock moves. That's so cool. Uh but yeah. <laughs> um But the resolution kinda goes down when you're looking at it on here. So yeah. Now one thing that I do believe you can do, if it'll let me do it. Yeah, 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 you can have two devices on there at once. So I could have, like, my iPhone right here, and then have my iPad right here. And, you know, just kind of have that there. Um, and it still runs perfectly fine. Uh, my emails. Thanks, email, for opening up. Uh, <laughs> And if you turn it off, it just goes black. But, yeah. I'm going to censor that. Woo. Uh, my phone just buzzed. What was that? Cool. Um. But, yeah. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, there will be a download to the reflector in the description. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you later. And also, you know, this is just a tutorial on showing you how to use it with iOS 6 and iOS 7. So, yeah. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to do one last thing. I'm going to turn this back on. Okay. Uh, let's put it right here. Okay. I'll be right back. We're going to have a third device. Ugh. I forgot I have an iPad, another iPad, but it's on iOS 8, actually. I just crashed the system. Oh, no, I didn't. Come on. Will three devices work? I don't think three devices actually works. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me turn off this. Okay, let me let me now try it. Dude, dude. Yeah, there might be, like, a connection area between my iPad and my computer. Yeah, there's a little bit of, like, a connection error, but it is on iOS 8, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought this program was really, really cool. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Turn this off.